Once Photoshop's been launched, the first thing you need to do is customize your palettes in order to make it easier to follow along with the lessons. Now, just in case your palettes are scattered around the desktop, go to the Windows menu, into Workspace, and reset the palette locations so that we can find and regroup them more easily. The first group of palettes we're going to create, and the ones we'll need most often, should contain layers, swatches, history, channels, and paths. To create it, start by finding the group that currently contains the layers palette and separate it from that group by clicking on its tab, not the bar at the top, and dragging it off by itself. Then, find the group that contains swatches. Again, click on the tab, not the bar, and drag it away from that group, placing it in the middle of the layers palette. When you see the dark border appear around the layers, let go of the mouse and the swatches will attach itself to the layers group we're in the process of creating. Then do the same thing with the history palette, the channels palette, and the paths palette. And that's our first group. The second palette group we need to create will contain the Colors palette, the Actions palette, and the Character and Paragraph palettes. Start with the Colors palette, and like before, drag it off by itself. Find the Actions palette, which at this point should be floating by itself, and drag it on top of Colors. To add the Character and Paragraph palettes, you'll need to first go to the window menu and open them by clicking on either character or paragraph since they're already a group by themselves. When they open, attach characters palette first, then the paragraphs. That's our second group. The third palette group contains info, styles, Navigator, Histogram, and Layer Comps. The last palette group, which is not actually a group at all, is the Brushes palette by itself. That gives us four groups. The Layers group, the Colors group, the Info group, and by itself brushes. This configuration of palettes is the same configuration used in all the Illustrate This tutorials. It also happens to be the same one I use in my college classes and at my own studio. There's a lot of reasons why I set it up this way, but one of the main reasons is, is that by default these groups correspond to the F5, 6, 7, and 8 keys on your keyboard. By hitting the F5 key, you can make the brushes palette come and go. The F6 key works for the colors palette group. The F7 key for the layers group. And last, the F8 key for the info group. And of course, by hitting the tab key, you can hide all the palettes. This makes hiding palettes and reducing desktop clutter very easy. Now, so that it isn't necessary to redo this again, go up to the Windows menu, to Workspace, and save the Workspace. Call it Illustrate This. That way, if for some reason the palettes are reset, all you need to do is go back to Window, Workspace, and select Illustrate This, and you're ready to go again.